Welcome to the demonstration on executing an IRI workflow with the built-in job scheduler in the IRI Workbench for Veracity. Flow diagrams allow the user to visually represent the job they are executing. The flow file represents a batch or shell script that can execute multiple SQL jobs, IRI job scripts, database loader files, system commands, and more, all in specific order to preserve referential integrity. The IRI scheduler is a view that allows a user to schedule a local job by choosing a run configuration from either run configurations or external tools configurations. The task can be scheduled to run on a one-time or repeating basis. This demonstration will be using an existing flow that I created for a telecommunications company. They had call logs that needed to be manipulated to remove records that had incomplete data and calculate a tariff on complete records. This flow contains three transform mapping blocks that sort CSV files that contain data to be used as lookups, three wait for file blocks to confirm that the lookup files are created before moving on to the next step, and four transform mapping blocks that sort the data being added in the previous step. The outputs are a report with rejected records and a report with tariff charges included for valid records and one working file. If not already open, you can open a flow diagram by locating your flow file in the Project Explorer, expanding to the batch component, and selecting New Representation new flow diagram. As you can see, I already have my diagram open. By clicking in the white background of the flow diagram and selecting IRI Diagram Actions, Export Flow Component, I get a screen where I can select the location, name, and platform that I want to use for my batch file. I can change the platform to Unix if desired, but I'm executing on Windows, so I leave everything as is. When I select Finish, the action will export the batch file and all needed scripts, as you can see in the Project Explorer. I can then run the batch file from the Project Explorer by selecting the batch file, right-clicking, Run As, Batch Program. It will prompt you to save if you have not already done so. As you can see, my output files are in the Project Explorer now. In the future, there will be a run icon on the toolbar that will allow the save and execute to happen in one step. To work with the local scheduler, I'll select the external tools configurations from the upper toolbar. As you can see, the file that I just executed is listed. However, if I'd like a new one, I can select New and browse either the workspace or the file system for a location and set my working directory underneath. In this particular case, I'm going to use the telecom batch file, so I select Close. The scheduler view is not already open. You can select Window, Show View, Other. In the IRI folder, select Scheduler. As you can see, I already have a task in my view. You can add a new task by selecting New Launch Task on the view. Here you'll select your launch name, which would be the file that I just created before. I can select start date, start time, multiple options for repeat intervals, including year, month, day, hour, and minute. I am going to zero out my repeat interval. I'm going to leave the start date and start time alone as I would like to select run at first opportunity after finish. You can also select the number of times to repeat a launch. I select Finish. As you can see below, my job is run. If I go back to the scheduler view, I have details that I can see about my launch task, including name, number of times the job has run, the next time the job will run, and how many times it will be repeated. You can also see icons on the left indicating different actions. A clock represents that the task is waiting for the next run time. A run arrow represents a task that is currently running. A red check represents a completed or non-repeating task. Pause icon represents a paused or disabled task. Not only can you edit the existing tasks by double-clicking, you can also use a context menu. This scheduler is handy for running tests when working on other projects or maybe while you are out to lunch. Thank you for watching this video on executing an IRI workflow with the scheduler. For more information on the IRI Veracity platform, Workbench GUI, or other IRI software products, visit www.iri.com.